triple addition using both the heavenly and the earthly beads. And this time, we're going to be getting into the hundreds column. Now, you've been into the hundreds columns before, and you recognize that they're not so hard as they seem. It's just as, like, like you knew before, that it's just as easy to add a number in the hundreds as it is to add a number in the ones. There's just a few more all at once. It's a piece of cake, though. I wasn't doing that. So here we go. Let's jump into a problem. So let's do the number 412 plus 51. That's a lot of numbers. And you're like, well, I'm going to add that in my head. But with your abacus, it makes it a piece of cake. So just put the number 412 in your abacus. 412 is written 4, 1, 2. 412. There's the 400, and a 12 is a 1 and a 2. 412. And we are going to add to that the number 51. So here we go. 51 is a 5 in the tens column and a 1 in the ones column. 51. We just added 51 to that. So what do we have? Well, let's read it. 463. So 412 plus 51 is 463. Let's do another one. How about 321 plus 122? That's a lot of numbers, I know. So let's just take it a step. So 321. Oops. So 321 plus 122. Well, that's a piece of cake. Listen, how do we write 122? It's a 1, a 2, and a 2. So let's just slide those towards the beams. A 1, a 2, and a 2. And what's the number that we're left with? Hmm. 443. So 321 plus 122, piece of cake, doing it on your abacus is 443. All right, let's do another one. Okay, this is going to be a big number. I'm, you're, I mean, you do this one and you're like the hundreds master. So here we go, 491. 91. Okay, so there we go, 491. Can you read that there? You're an abacus expert by, by now. So 491 plus, here's another big number, 507. Well, it seems like it's a lot of numbers, but you know what, 507 is a piece of cake on an abacus because all I do is slide towards the beam, a 5, a 0, Nothing changes. And a 7. 507. So 491 plus 507 is 998. 491 plus 507 is 998. Good. Let's do two more and then we'll be be done with this lesson because you're probably an expert by now. Let's do a cool number, something like this. Let's do 89 plus 210. Well, an 8 and a 9 looks like this. There's the number 80, 89. And let's add to that 210, which is written a 2, a a two in the hundreds column, a one in the tens column, and a zero in the ones column. So 210, two, one, zero. And what number is that? 299. So 89 plus 210 is 299. Wow, that's pretty cool. I like that. All right, let's, let's do another one. Hmm... This one, here we go. Let's do a fun one. This, I like ones like this. This is a fun one. So clear your abacus. 224. 224. There we go. 224 plus 
555. Pew, pew, pew. So 224 plus 555 is 779. That was a fun one. 224 plus 555 is 779. All right, one last one before we really jump before we really jump into the fun stuff. Okay. 901 plus 56. 901 means that we leave a zero in the tens column. There's the number 901. And we are going to add to that 56. Oh, we can do that. 56. So 901 plus 56 is 957. Piece of cake. All right, so you got the basic idea. You can do anything that is simple addition using your heavenly and earthly beads. So go ahead, go print off your worksheet. Go print off your worksheet and work through the problems. Once again, even if you can do it in your head, still key through it on your abacus. Move the beads. Get used to moving it around and seeing what the numbers represent on the abacus. Because the thing we want to train our brain to do is read the abacus at this point. And that's why we're doing so many of these drills. Getting used to seeing that, getting that manipulative in your hand is the great thing that the abacus is.